everyone, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to open up the ports for SolidWorks Electrical to communicate with the collaborative server and SQL database. So it's important, especially when you do a client server installation, that all the client computers can have access to the SolidWorks collaborative server and the database server on the actual server computer. So on the server, what you need to make do is you need to make sure that you've got the following ports opened inside um, your firewall. So in Windows, you go to your control panel, you go to your firewall, advanced settings, and you want to create a inbound rule. And we're setting up a new rule over here. Now. The following ports need to be opened for correct um, for the correct working of SolidWorks Electrical. So we're going to select port over here, and we're going to specify or we're going to specific local ports. So we're going to specify a range here, and the range for SolidWorks Electrical is two six 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 six, and that goes to two six six seven two. So that, 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 this is the range of port that is necessary for SolidWorks Electrical to work. So I'm going to click Next. Allow the connection. Click Next again. And we can type in here. And you hit Finish. So you can see that it comes up up here. Now we need to do the same thing for outbound rules as well. If we don't do it for outbound rules, it is not going to work. SolidWorks Electrical will start up on a client machine. However, after a few minutes, it will disconnect from the client machine and you, the connection is just lost. So similarly, we go to the out, outbound rules. We're going to create a new rule for a port. And we're going to specify the range again. So this is for the SolidWorks Collaborative Server, License Manager, all these things. Accept. Okay, so once the SolidWorks Electrical has been set up, you also have to make sure that you have connection to the SQL server. And the SQL server uses the other ports. It uses 1433 and 1434, both TCP connections. So again, for both inbound and outbound rules, we create a new rule, port, And we need to have 1433 till 1434. So those two ports need to be opened. You can either specify them by a range or just manually enter them in and just repeat the rule. Again, you do the same for inbound and outbound rules. Thank you very much for watching this week's video and see you all next week.